Good morning, we are up and vlogging this morning and it should hopefully be a pretty good day. We have a cat vet appointment. There's Luna down there, patiently waiting at my feet. And so hopefully we're just gonna be able to take her in, get her checked out and you know, just see what's going on and just see if there's anything additionally we can do besides the wet food. Hey, <laughs> hi. So we're up and we're going. So we're gonna get our day started and Bella has school and Luna has a cat appointment. Uh, Retro, <laughs> I might have a very big computer problem. Uh, I don't know what this is doing. There's just a little spinning wheel of death in the middle of my computer screen, which is completely blank. Uh, well, this could be an interesting computer issue filled day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Natalie's rendition of Twinkle Twinkle. So they're eating their usual cereal, twinkle, twinkle. yogurt, milk, juice, uh, Bell's got oatmeal. <laughs> got my eggs, my water, my coffee. Right, we dropped off Sissy and it's time to go get Luna, which I'm sure she's gonna be thrilled and take her to an appointment. So, off to the vet we go. Well, our day just took an unexpected and unfortunate turn. Hear that sound? That's the sump pump alarm. Oh crap. I just got a hold of my husband and we seriously have a geyser, a waterfall. Something broke and you can hear, I don't have a clue. So hopefully he gets home very quickly. <laughs> Sorry for the annoying alarm. I don't have a clue. It's like a geyser. Okay, so crisis averted. <laughs> so I have to get that sorted out before the stuff starts melting. So now back to what we were doing. We're going to get the cat carrier out and <laughs> go take Luna to the vet for our checkup. Holy cow. It's never, I'm standing here, I'm like, oh. I think I know what alarm that is. That's not good. All right, and we're off to Luna's doctor's appointment. <laughs> you can see my purse. I oh, always have to get Natalie some chicken nuggets. And then probably let her go play. Okay, so we just picked up Bella at school. And I'll do a full thing whenever we go home about the cat oh, appointment and all that. Baby. So we're gonna go home and go get lunch. There's a bunch of kids now out from empty. school right now. Like they have pneumonia and stuff. It's pretty bad. Home. All right, we're gonna head home. We are back home and the girls are eating lunch and there are so many kids in Isabel's class that are sick. They've all got like a little cough and a bunch of them are out like with pneumonia and then like just different variations of that. So fingers crossed that it doesn't get worse around our house. Um, and then Luna's about appointment. We're supposed to hear back some more tomorrow. They took some blood work and I knew that she'd lost weight. I mean, I you can look at her and you can tell she's lost weight. You picked her up and you can tell she's lost weight. But um, she used to be about an eight pound cat and she's now a four pound cat. <laughs> she's 4.6 pounds. So obviously a bit of cause for concern, just about half of the size that she used to be, which is crazy. Um, and the vet doesn't think, I mean, she checked her out and she couldn't see anything obvious, no lumps. She couldn't feel her thyroid. She couldn't, you know, she didn't find anything from the exam. So we're going to do blood work and we're sending that off and we should know some more tomorrow. They're really most concerned, I think, about her thyroid and diabetes at this point. They don't How think that it's kidney failure or anything like that because... How hurt is her mom? I don't know. We're going to find out what's going on with her tomorrow. Um, because she's hungry and she's wanting to eat more, the vet was really leaning towards thyroid issues because... She's hungry? It didn't fit with anything else. Um... So I don't know, we'll know to more tomorrow because they're doing like a full blood panel on her and it should hopefully show what issues, if any, there are. She checked her teeth a little bit and periodontal disease is what she had before when she had the teeth taken out. And she said there was a little inflammation but it was nothing, you know, like it before where it was like abscess. I don't know if that's the right word. I mean, I know it works for humans, but I don't know what the, not canine, but feline word would be. Anyhow. So we, we took the cat in. We don't know what's going on yet. Nothing really was showing off that's up. Nothing was showing up that was off other than obviously she's half the size that she used to be. 
So something's got to be going on. So the girls are eating their lunch and then we're have a bit of playtime. Bella's tired and cranky, so let her rest on the couch for a bit. It's her wet cat food. So obviously she has an appetite. She's eating the wet cat food like a champ and she does eat the dry food. I see her eat and she used to um, like throw up a lot. Like she has a very sensitive tummy. So when she was a younger cat, we couldn't feed her a lot of foods cause she'd just toss it right back up. But um, she hasn't been having problems with that. Here, just scoot back a little bit. Don't touch her while they're, they're eating, okay? Um, so they're eating she'll eat the whole thing yoda for comparison yoda was about 13 pounds the last time we took him to the vet so he's a 13 pound cat <coughs> oh goodness bella bella's got a cough and um they said she was 4.6 pounds today but well, she looks a lot tinier than yoda but that's unbelievable she's now a third of the size of him i mean he's a heifer lump but i don't like how big he is from the top so i don't know Sometimes. Well, he is mean sometimes, but it's just his personality. <laughs> All right, come on, let's get up and go play in the playroom, okay? <laughs> oh, cover your mouth, oh, pumpkin. So, I think we'll be hanging around here for the rest of the day. I hope Bella doesn't get any worse, because then we're going to be going to your doctor. We'll have seen everyone's doctor this week if that ends up happening. And Dad is a dentist. Doctor. Dad's not a dentist doctor. <laughs> Silly goats. So we're going to have a little bit of play time. And then it'll be time for everyone to go take a rest. See what are you doing in there? You playing okay. peekaboo? I'm So we're trying the pulled pork for dinner again. And what happened last time, because people were asking, I don't think I ever mentioned it in the video. Like, So people were like, what went wrong with it? What, wrong, what went wrong was totally my fault last time. When you put the pork in the rub, you know, I put it in the gallon Ziploc bag and I put it in the rub. The rub seemed really great. It didn't occur to me that you shouldn't just not put the rub into the crock pot with the pork. Uh, you should just rub the pork and then, like, you'd have a lot of excess so you can just toss. I didn't think about that part. <laughs> and so I kept all of the rub in the gallon Ziploc bag with the pork and it actually ended up being marinated in the fridge for a few days. And then I just dumped it straight into the crock pot. End result, by the way, is that it's it's so overly seasoned at that point. You know, rub, duh. I mean, I'm actually generally a very good marinator. I usually marinate everything we do on the grill and that sort of thing. I didn't think rub, duh, you're just supposed to roll it in there and just have a little bit on there and I'm gonna be throwing all the rest of that away. So it was so, I mean, it was beyond salty. I mean, just unedible salty. So I'm trying the pulled pork again. I will not be putting the entire, because the whole mixture is like a few cups worth. Okay, my camera just died because I need to clear off space on my memory card. Anyhow, real quick. So it was very salty. And um, so I'm going to try again this time with the idea that, duh, you just have to rub it in there. And there's going to be about two or three cups worth of stuff in the bowl that I, you know, dumped the pork in that just needs to get tossed. You don't actually put that part into the crock pot. Anyhow, so that's what happened with the pulled pork for the people that were asking. Totally my fault. I over seasoned it and it was like not edible at that point because it was so seasoned. I mean it was bad. It was real bad. So I'm going to go get that going and then it'll be rest time for the kids. So here is the mixture and I repeat, do not put this in the crock pot with the pork. So I'm going to roll it in this and then there'll be a lot of this excess that I'll just toss and then the pork will go in the crock pot. All right, there we go, off and running. Hopefully the pulled pork turns out better this time. And like, seriously, it's really kind of not good if you think about it. All this was in there last time. So no wonder it didn't turn out good. Oh dear, I amaze even myself sometimes. Bella's taking her baby doll upstairs. She's taking a preference to that one, which is Nikki, the girl of the year from 2017. Come on, you. 2017, 2007. We'll wake up and play in a little bit. Good night. The kids are laying down to take their rest and I'm going to start getting today's video uploaded. The video that's uploading the day previous, you watching this and start editing 
today's video, the video that you're watching now, and start working on that during nap time. I'm doing a load of towels. Um, I may try to do one more load of laundry today, and I also need to vacuum today, and that'll be the majority of what I get done during nap time. Well, we're just hanging out. Bella woke up from nap a little, it's about on time, but she was upset because she's coughing and she doesn't feel great. So we're just going to hang out and take it easy. She put on her pajamas. She does this sometimes for nap time. You'll go in and she will change into her pajamas. So she put her pajamas on, so I'm just going to let her wear her jammies for the rest of the day because we're not going to go anywhere. We're in for the day. And I hope that we can kick this cough because otherwise she's going to be staying with me tomorrow Look, and going to Jay. my doctor's appointment with me. So... <laughs> Oh yes, and we're watching Mulan 2 on Disney Junior. We have it recorded on our TV. So she's been asking to watch this, so we're going to watch Mulan 2. Yes, it's very exciting stuff. It's a castle. Welcome to the world's oddest food. In case you've ever wondered, popcorn sizzles when you put hot sauce on top of it. Look at the cutest thing ever. Are you giving sissy huggies? Oh. Oh, Natalie knows you don't feel good, honey. She's trying to make you feel better. You're just trying to make Sissy feel better, weren't you? That was cute. <laughs> I'm popping some treats in the oven. These are just those banana oatmeal cookies from myself and the girls, and I've already got some banana bread in there for my husband, and he can take that to work tomorrow. So I'm going to just do this real quick, and the girls are pretty much hanging out, so it's pretty low-key afternoon. All right, it is much later now. I'm getting dinner ready, and I don't think we really vlogged that much this afternoon. Bella's feeling a little bit better, but she's still not 100%. So I'm getting the pulled pork out. We're going to put the Sweet Baby Ray's sauce on it. We've got our hamburger buns. Um, hopefully it turns out better than the last time that we tried it, so fingers crossed. So I'm going to shred this real quick. All right, definitely better than last time. I can already tell you it's better than last time. It actually is halfway normal. So these are the kids' plates, and they just have like a little half sandwich and then just some pork that they can dip in the barbecue sauce if they want some applesauce, baked beans. And if they eat their dinner, they can have one of the banana oatmeal cookies. Um, that's ours. I'm going to go ahead and start shredding it and getting on plates. And it should be decent. What's he doing over here? Whoop. Thank you. And that is it for our vlog day today. We'll see you tomorrow for the last day in the life of February. Thanks for watching. Bye.